Hello everybody and welcome back and uh, today I want to show you how to create a sliding door I'm using unity um, I guess this could be like a prison cell and this door is going to be sliding open and closed we're going to add a trigger on there so this is what we're going to do first we're going to add a trigger on the door so we can select the door and we'll come over here and add component go into physics and you'll need a box collider now we've already got one assigned to it which is this one here so that makes the um, door a rigid so you can't walk through it this one we want to select is trigger okay and then we want to size we want to size it larger than the door so we'll just come out I guess that far you can see the green box and on the right side green box and then what we'll do is we'll just bring it forward a bit we'll make it a bit smaller actually um, let's drag that down a little bit take it back a little bit That'll do, I think. So this is our collider, okay? And then what we want to do now is create an animation with the door. So leave the door selected. Go to Window and Animation. And that will bring up this box. Okay, I've done two animations. One is the open. And basically... So at frame zero, we want the door closed. So just click on, if you click, press the um, record. And then you can add keyframe because that's where we want it closed. And then at two seconds, we want to open. I've already done this once. At two seconds, you'll see the door open. So if I just click play, I'll just loop the open. Ta-da! So that's our animation. And then what I did for the close is to duplicate control D if you select the animation do control D and it will duplicate that animation select it rename it because I've got closed prison door and then basically you want to take these two nodes at the end here just here and drag them to the beginning or just drag them here a little bit and then get the other two, drag them at the end, and then you can just pull the other two back down to the beginning again. And that'll be your door closed. So animate the door closing. So you've got your two animations there, door open, door close. Okay. And then what you want to do is go to Window and click on Animator. Okay, and that will bring up this window. But when you do it, when you originally do it, it will have entry and it'll be make transition, it'll be transition to um, it'll be oh, I'm lost, I'm lost it'll be um, transition to the door open animation so what you want to do is right click anywhere and create a new state which is what we've already done here we've called it empty so it's not going to do anything so while the game's running the door's not opening it's not closing it's just not doing anything okay so i'll just delete that and then if you right click on entry make transition and then you get an arrow and you can bring it down to your empty there Okay, and then you should have your two animations in there. If you haven't, just drag them in. Okay. So I've already done that. Um, what you want to do then is right click on empty, make transition, and then drag it to position door open. And then on this transition here, you need to create a bool so if you go into parameters on the left hand side and click on the plus click on ball and it'll create a new one and you can name it whatever you want keep it unticked I've called mine open 
And as you can see, it's unticked. What you want to do then is go back to your transition line. You've got conditions here on the right hand side. Click on open, set, set it to true. So basically when you walk into, when we did a scripting, when you walk into the collider, the trigger, this will start and the door will open. Okay, and then you want to create another uh, transition from your prison door open to close and then from close to open. And then on the open to close, if you select it, you'll see the animation here. Then you want to select the ball, which is the open one again, and select it to false. Okay, so the animation will go to close. Okay, and then on the close to open, you see the animation there. Click on open, click on true, because then when you enter the thing, the trigger again, it will open it up. So that's uh, of that. It's quite simple. Maybe I'll just explain it a little bit difficult, but it is quite simple to do. Okay, and then so we've created our trigger, which is here. I've got a new script, so if you right click, uh, create, C sharp, and it'll create a new script, I'll just call it door, just for the sake of this tutorial, and this is it. Okay, so here we go with the fun part, I'm just going to move my keyboard so I've got a bit of better access to it. Okay. So on, um, we need to do private. Let's excuse my uh, spelling animator. Okay, animator. And then you can call it whatever you want. We'll just say underscore animator. Okay, and that's that bit done. But next we want to go down to void start. Okay, and then we want to do underscore animator because we're calling our animator again. Animator equals get component com component and then we want to do two of those and we want to call it animator because we're calling the animator and then we'll just add uh, two brackets on the end and there we go okay so we've got that next we want to we can get rid of void update and just clear that out of the way because we're not going to be using that so next what we want to do is void on trigger because we're calling the trigger now unfortunately my fingers type faster than my brain gets into gear so we want to apply the um, other. Okay, and then end that. Okay, and then, right, what we want to do, we want to, um, if, um, brackets, other, dot tag equals equals player okay then um right. just need to enter the curly brackets again So we want to call our 
we've got our player installed here and we've given it a tag of call a plug called player so you can just add tag and then call it whatever you want and then just make sure it's on the little bod there okay so we've got that far then we've got if other player then we need to call the animator underscore animator oh, where's that gone oh, what's going on I mean, underscore, underscore animate so we just call underscore animator dot set bool because remember we set our ball and then we want open is true okay and that is that on that one and then on this one the next one we're going to do is we're going to do we just copy this and come down a couple and then instead of enter it's called exit e x i t and then open is false f a l s e okay and I think that is that and then what we want to do is select our door and then put our script on it come on where are you okay so we've got our script we've got our animations We've got our triggers, we've called our uh, rigid body player, player, we've tagged it. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to click on play and hopefully when we enter that green trigger, the door will open and when we exit it, it will close. So enter, exit. Yay, go us, enter, exit, enter, and hopefully it's going to work from this side as well. We've only got a little bit on the inside, but we're going to enter, yes it does work, there we go, there you have it, sliding door, as soon as you walk into it, it opens, you walk out of the trigger, I mean if you was to stand here it would open and close because you're out of the trigger into the trigger out of the trigger so there you go there you have it sliding door fully working fully usable in any game you can have it on a spaceship I guess you say Captain Kirk shh, shh, thank you There we go. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fantastic, fabulous videos. And we'll see you next time. Ta-da for now.